We're on the west coast of Northland. We've come out. We're on our own. And the swell's probably a little bit bigger than what I would have liked. Um, sort of marginal. It was a bit interesting crossing the bar. But um, we're going to go for a little solo dive here. Um, we're basically, we're looking for crayfish and power. So, yeah. This could be interesting. Sort of, we've got some pretty big sets rolling through. I've anchored up. I think I'm pretty safe here. So, um, hope we don't lose all our gear and have to walk home.
dived a few spots and it's pretty dirty, this big swell's making it hard, hard to anchor up. Um, because the areas where there's not big swell, there's quite a bit of current and usually it's on the sand and that. So it's making it hard, but I've got three crayfish and three power so far. It's changed now, so I should have no problem coming back in over the bar. So I'm just going to get this done and uh, yeah, I think we're going to head off after that. Alright, um, got these two power here. We're going to make um, powers and cream, so first thing I'm going to do is show you how to process them. Okay, so it's time to process our powers. They've been in the fridge, they're sort of quite soft. But all we're going to do is we're going to get our thumb and there's a ridge on this side and there's less of a ridge on that side so we're going to slide the thumb in under the ridge under the side without the ridge I should say and you can feel I can feel the muscle there and I just get in under the muscle with my fingernail or with my thumb I should say and just rip it out it comes out quite nicely uh, we will just trim around the edge and uh, take the tooth out. That's just the little tooth there. Okay, and that's dealt with. Beautiful power shell. Right now, these are actually feeling really nice and soft. It's one of the real tricks to um, power and getting them tender is to actually leave them in the fridge for a while um, but we're still going to give them a little bit of a tenderize so we've got uh, our trusty axe here we're just going to beat them um, I want to go around the sides too oh sometimes they fall off we're going to wash it so it doesn't matter that it's fallen off and down the back of the thing um, just beat the sides do this outside it's pretty messy to do it inside stuff sort of flies everywhere what we'll do now is we'll take these inside and uh, wash them up and then slice them into nice thin strips right so when I'm washing them I try and make sure I get like in between this fold here as well they're real buggers for collecting sand in there and uh, no one likes to eat sand well, no one that I've found anyway. So just give them a good old wash in there. Same with this one. Right, now we've got them all um, washed up. All we're going to do now is just slice them into thin strips. Alright, well we've got our um, beautiful West Coast power the other day and um, uh, we've just shelled it and cut it into nice thin strips here and um, we're going to turn it into powers and cream so uh, I'm going to show you how to do it so we'll just run through the ingredients so we've got uh, like I said before the lovely bowl of power got a bowl of finely chopped onion that's just one onion We've got some cream, we've got some pure plain flour, we've got some rice bran oil, and we've got over the back there salt and pepper. Okay, so we're going to start by making our cream, and basically all we're going to do is we're going to um, treat it a little bit like a white sauce. So we're going to just, well we basically are going to make a white sauce, um, but we're going to make it with cream instead of milk. So we'll just... Um, Get a bit of flour in the pan here, in the pot saucepan here, and um, yeah, we're basically just going to brown our flour off. Okay, now our flour's browned up nicely. We're going to start adding cream. So we just basically want to add cream and stir it until it becomes a sauce. Got a nice thick sauce here. That's probably enough. Okay, now our sauce is finished and um, we can move on. The reason I make the sauce first 
is uh, because it, it's going to give it time to cool off. If we cook our parwas and our uh, onions, we're, we're basically just going to really fast fry them. And if we add a hot sauce to it, it's going to actually overcook our parwa and that's going to make them really tough and chewy. Alright, now we can cook up our parwas. So we're just going to put a bit of oil in the pan again. And uh, introduce the onions. And uh, we will just reduce them down. Alright, so now our onions are nicely browned up and really soft. We can add the power in, so we're just going to push the power in there. And uh, now we've got to be fairly fast here because we do not want to overcook this power. Keep moving it around the pan so everything gets a chance to cook. Oh, and it smells so good. You can turn the heat off now. It's almost cooked. Okay, we can pull it off the heat. See how these things are just starting to curl like that? Um, that means they're pretty much done. Just like that. They're still going to be nice and tender. But uh, they're actually cooked. All we need to do now is introduce our power to our sauce. And as that finally cooks out, those power are going to release, be releasing juice. And uh, it's going to colour that sauce all nice and green. Okay, so our final ingredients, going to be a bit of salt to taste, and a little bit of pepper. Stir that in. And alright, and here we have it. Now we can just have a little sample, make sure we got it right. Mmm. Ah. Yeah. Alright. Well. That's ready. So um, I'm going to sit down and have a, have a big bowl of piles and cream. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And I guess we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.